This just in, Democrat senators from pro-gun states bend the knee to Biden and the gun control lobby and betray their gun-owning constituents. Hi, I'm Ryan Frazier, the Deputy Director for the National Association for Gun Rights with an important update on the fight to kill the Biden ATF brace ban. By a party line vote of 50 to 49, the U.S. Senate just voted to kill H.J. Res 44, which sought to repeal the ATF's unconstitutional ban on stabilizing braces. So before I go on, please like, subscribe, and sign the petition in the description and pin comment below to stay up to date on gun rights news. Today in the United States Senate, Republicans held the line, but Democrat senators continue to ignore their constituents as they kowtow to Joe Biden and Gun Control Inc. Now while this loss is frustrating, I assure you our fight served its purpose. First, our bipartisan victory in the House thanks to pro-gun Republicans like Representative Andrew Clyde, Representative Thomas Massey, and Representative Chip Roy. Thanks to them, we now have an avenue to defund Biden's pistol brace ban when the federal budget comes up later this year. Second, we got an important roll call vote on your gun rights. And you can bet that we will be reminding pro-gun voters which lawmakers sold them out to Biden and the gun control lobby especially Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia and John Tester of Montana. Now these senators both represent strongly pro-gun states and they are both up for re-election next year. On election day, Manchin and Tester will have to face the voters and answer for their anti-gun betrayals. Third, our bipartisan victory in the House proved that the Biden brace ban would have failed if the gun grabbers tried to pass it legally through the legislative process as mandated by the Constitution. And there is no doubt our critical House victory will be invaluable evidence in our upcoming legal battles to snuff out this unconstitutional gun ban once and for all. Right now we're in the midst of suing the ATF and gun owners are currently winning on this issue in the court. At least five lawsuits have been filed so far, four of which have limited injunctions against Biden's ATF, which essentially suspends the rules enforcement. We have one filed in the Northern District of Texas, the Fifth Circuit, and the Texas courts have already issued preliminary injunctions. While today's vote appears to be a setback, Progan America should hold its head high and be encouraged because the fight is far from over and we are currently winning. We have a Supreme Court that seems to be willing to continue to look at Second Amendment cases and has slowly been taking bites out of Chevron deference as a whole. And we push this resolution further than most of the experts thought possible, despite Republican leaders in the House dragging their feet. Make no mistake about it, pro-gun America made this an issue by sending thousands of petitions, emails, and phone calls to their lawmakers. And let me tell you, staffers on the Hill were having a conniption fit. So thank you to pro-gun Americans for their activism and pushing it this far. And we also want to give a special thanks to Congressman Andrew Clyde, Thomas Massey, Chip Roy, and Senator John Kennedy for taking the lead on this issue from the inside. Once again, as always, thank you for watching, and we will keep you updated on developments on this issue and all Second Amendment issues. So to stay in the loop, again, please like and subscribe. Sign the petition in the description box and the one in the pinned comment below to stay up to date on gun rights news. For the National Association for Gun Rights, I'm Ryan Frazier, reminding you that if you're watching this, you are the resistance.